Hey there, I hope you're doing well. My name is Nate, and I want to share a bug workaround for the background audio that has been floating around. So, let's jump in. So here's my simple project. I have four slides. The first one is just the intro without anything. Then we have the voiceover on the second one, the voiceover on the third one, and the same voiceover on the fourth one. However, this one plays when you click this button, so it's not automatically in timeline. So let's just preview and see what happens. I click next. In a world without bugs, one man was brave enough. In a world without bugs, one man was brave enough to challenge everything. In a world without bugs, one man was brave enough. So what happens is, if you click next before the audio, the voiceover finishes, on the next slide, the background audio doesn't go down, doesn't duck anymore which of course is a big issue and this should have not been released. However, what can, we, what can we do about this? So when I was thinking about this, it occurred to me that actually on the first slide it works fine because there's no voiceover beforehand, you know. So, but when you, when you cut and jump to the third slide, it doesn't duck anymore. So I was thinking maybe it doesn't know that this is like a new sound and it's still thinking I don't know, somehow it's connected to the previous slide. It doesn't take this new new audio as a new audio. So here's what I found out. I'll do, I'll do this just for the slide number three. So on the second slide, on the next button, so we're fixing slide number three by going to slide number two. So it's just, so it's clear. We're gonna say stop media audio one when user clicks next. Okay, shouldn't be changing this one. So copy paste, stop media, audio one where user clicks next. So first we're stopping the voiceover, then we're jumping to the next slide and let's quickly preview. In a world without bugs, in a world without bugs, Ta -da! man was brave enough. Done, bye bye. No, I mean, it's, it's not perfect solution, you know, Maybe if you, have, if, you have, if you have a big project, this is not appropriate. Also, if you jump through the menu, it, 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 this doesn't work. So it has to be in a trigger on the next button or your custom button. But let's say you're using buttons, you're not using the menu. There is a shortcut for this kind of trigger. So you don't have to put stop on every next and previous button. So here's how you can make this a bit easier on yourself. So let me just remove the stop and this, uh, let's leave this one and we'll go to the slide master. Yeah. Now we're going to add two triggers. So first we're going to, we're going to say adjust variable. I created a stop variable before and we're going to toggle it when user clicks the next button. So basically we're taking over all the next buttons now. Of course, this applies to player buttons. If you have custom buttons. So next and toggle means it's going to go uh, true, false, true, false, true, false, because it's true, false variable. Just copy paste it. And when user clicks previous button or swipes done. OK, so here this is this is now we're changing the variable. Um, so we basically changed it from, you know, to triggers. Now we have one common thing, which is the variable. And now we're going to say stop media when variable changes stop. I guess this was here from before. So, uh, oops. And I can just use this trigger and put it on all the slides. I see it's already here. And even here, we're going to just leave it as is play audio. So let's preview. In a world without bugs, one man. In a world without bugs, one man. In a world without bugs, one man was brave enough. So there you go. That's the workaround. Stop the audio before jumping to the next slide. 
and using a variable in the master slide you can just use one trigger stop audio when variable changes instead of putting it on all the next and previous buttons quick solution this is this will probably get updated soon i i would hope so so you know maybe use it maybe don't but uh hope you learned something that you can do in the master slide take care and i'll talk to you in the next video